In this video we will be writing word names for large numbers like the one shown here. We are to place the numbers below in the place value chart and then use it to assist us in writing the word name. I want to start by showing you that the three blanks in the ones group correspond to the three digits you see here. The three blanks in the thousands place correspond to the three digits shown here. The three blanks in the millions place corresponds to the digits shown here. And then finally, even though there's three blanks in the billions place, they correspond to just these digits here. So when I write my answer, I am to leave the first cell blank because I do not have three digits in the billions place because my number is smaller than 100 billion. So I'm going to click on this cell, type in 8, either press tab on your keyboard or click in the next cell and type the next digit 1. These three digits are to be typed in the millions place. Again, either press tab or click in the cells. In the thousands place, we are to copy the digits 570. And finally, in the ones group, we have 836. And this will help us write the word name for this number. Make sure that you place a comma in between each grouping value, meaning between billions and millions between millions and thousands, and another comma between thousands and ones. If your answer does not have those three commas, you will be marked wrong. You'll also want to be putting a hyphen between any of the last two digits in a grouping value, such as 36 or 81, where it requires two different words to write the name of that number. You will not need a hyphen in this instance because this would just be read 402, and you could write the word two is a single word. You would also not need a hyphen for these two digits as the number can be written as the single word 70. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to click on the cell here. So imagine if you just had the digits 81. This would be read as 81. To get a hyphen, look at the zero on your keyboard and it should be the key just to the right of it. So I've typed 80, I typed 1. Because these digits came from the billions group, I need to write the word billion. You can check your spelling for the word billion against what is written here. Because I'm now moving from the billions to the millions place, I need to put a comma. Again, imagine if you were to write the word name for the digits 402, this would be read 402. So I will write 402. Again, I did not need a hyphen because I only used the single word 2 to represent these two digits. But because these digits came from the millions group, I need to type the word million, put a comma because we are moving from the millions group to the thousands. Check your spelling for the word million against what is written here. Now imagine if you saw the digits 570 by themselves, you would read this as 570. So I will type the words 500 then 70. I need no hyphen because these two digits were given the single word 70 to name them. But because these words came from the thousands group, don't forget to write the word thousand. Because I'm moving from the thousands group to the ones group, I need to put a comma. Once again, imagine if these were the only three digits written, it would be read 836 because the last two digits are going to require two words, 30 and 6. I will need to put a hyphen between them, much like I did here, with no spaces. So I'm going to type the word 830 hyphen 6. Before I submit my answer, I'm going to go back, make sure that I've made no spelling errors, made sure that I wrote the word billion, then a comma, make sure that you have the word million in your answer with a comma, make sure you have the word thousand in your answer with a comma, and also make sure that you have hyphens whenever it required more than one word to represent the last two digits in each group. I have 81,402,570,836. I'm convinced my answer is correct, so I'm going to click the submit button. It says not all the question parts have been answered because I left the first cell in the billions place blank. So I'm going to click OK anyway. Math AS is telling me that all of my parts were correct, and it does this by highlighting each of the answer boxes in green and giving me a green check mark. If you get the answer wrong and your instructor has allowed for more than one attempt, go back, check your spelling, check to make sure you've written the word billion, million, thousand, and that you have three commas in your answer. 